Okay, so here we are with uh, AliExpress Cycling Re Kit Review number three. As you can see, I have ordered the Dos Noventa team kit uh, in black, or what I thought was black. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same as all the other ones, the other two that I've purchased. Same materials, same build quality. You know, I paid 30 bucks again for this one. Uh, and free shipping from China it took a month to get here just like the other one so that seems to be the status quo as far as the uh, shipping is concerned um, again no real major complaints they have the rubber grip on the legs the rubber grip on the jersey this one the zipper is in, in good uh, repair it didn't fall off like the last one I, I purchased did but luckily I'm a handy guy and I'm pretty capable of fixing that stuff like for 30 bucks, I'm not expecting it to be this, the most amazing thing I've ever purchased in my life. But I am expecting it to at least be comfortable and uh, easy to wear and long lasting. So far, so good in that respect. This one isn't without flaw though. Um, on the front of the bib, the front seam here that comes down just towards the, the crotch where the padding is, uh, it was a bit loose. There was... A small area that I had to repair there and then because I'm fairly handy with a uh, sewing machine I was able to redo that front seam on the sewing machine now most people maybe not willing to do that type of thing but for $30 for free shipping I am definitely willing to, to do that other than that that's my only only complaint about it everything else is, is good quality the uh, graphics are really well done everything's even everything's centered there is nothing lopsided or anything like that about it on the back of the jersey you've got the uh, Dos Noventa logo perfectly centered good uh, screen printing quality you've got your three uh, pads on or pockets sorry on the back of the jersey just like the other ones so the fit again on these guys is an extra large in both the jersey and the bibs. So I learned my lesson from the first order where I went with a double extra large uh, for the jersey. Uh, extra large in both is the right size for me. And again, the logo on the arm. Yeah, it's really, it's a really sharp looking, looking kit. Got the logos on the legs too. So really enjoying this one. Um, so yeah, no major complaints. Just that little bit of a repair job in the seam everything else seems to be good i haven't uh, ridden in it yet oh actually there is one thing that is different from this kit than the previous two the padding on this one is slightly different and it's not as robust i guess you could say like the back padding it's nice it's got some good um Adding. It's comfortable. There is gel in there. You can feel the gel. You can feel the springiness of the gel. It's not just foam, but it's mostly foam. It's got a uh, really good, um, it breathes really well, or so I hope. I haven't, like I said, I haven't wrote it yet, but it looks like it's got good airflow. Um, but where I have a complaint, I guess you could say, is right in the front part here, like this. There is just pretty much nothing there, like a little bit of foam. When you get to the very front, it's you know very thin so we'll see how that goes on a long ride whether or not i can put up with it or not <laughs> but like i said for 30 bucks what are you expecting right i'm not expecting it to be like i bought like i paid 230 dollars for it like i would in the stores and that's the whole point why i buy this stuff is because i don't make a ton of money i've got a family i love cycling but i can't afford to go and spend hundreds of dollars on a jersey and a, and a set of bibs you know like you buy this in the store you're looking at like three hundred dollars i don't make that kind of money and personally why would i spend that much money yeah i know i want to support the manufacturers and all that stuff but i got to be realistic and i don't think that i should have to save for three months or six months to be able to buy myself a new kit that's just how i feel some people may agree with me some people may not that's okay they're not buying it if they can have afford to support it fill your boots I'm more power to you i can't so this is what i do and i'm more than happy happy to go this road uh one more thing 
I did pick up these guys as well. These are Defeat Slipstream Over Socks. Uh, for over top of the shoes when it's warm. They don't come with pre-cut holes in the bottom. They come with a handy little cut here line. So you just put them on over your shoes. Find out where your cleat sits. And that's where you make your cut. No fraying or anything like that. It just rolls in on itself and good to go. So you should keep my feet nice and toasty on those cooler morning rides. And that's my extra little purchase. Just to put it into perspective, I got a gift card to uh, MEC, Mountain Equipment Co-op, for Christmas. These guys were, I think, $24, 20 bucks, something like that. So, 20 bucks for a pair of socks compared to $30 for a brand new kit. Kind of, that's what I mean. Like, the prices is just so kind of outrageous, in my opinion. So I buy what I can and support what I can when I can, but by no means am I going to not ride in the cycling clothes that I like because I have to save up six months to, to purchase a kit. It's just not going to happen. So there you go. If you're uh, ever at all considering ordering anything online from AliExpress, make sure you do your sizing info. And uh, that's the biggest kind of thing you don't know what you're going to get i'm about five foot nine 180 pounds fairly broad shouldered so if you're in the same size area as me roughly extra large in both sizes and you should be good to go anyways uh thanks for watching and uh, have a good one